Hey guys, I'm super excited for today because I'm doing my first collab. My collab is with, I'm going to butcher her name, so I am so sorry in advance, but Lapiz, Lapiz Lazula. This is her YouTube page, and I will also link it down below in the description box. Make sure to follow her. She has 61 subscribers. She's doing so good. She posts every single freaking day, which is crazy like yeah just about every day and she's just funny um i love her energy and you guys just gotta go check her channel out and subscribe to her channel and if you're not subscribed to my channel wait this way make sure to subscribe is it this way or is it this way either way make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video for this collab we are going to be um, testing out the L'Oreal Infallible All Glow or Pro Glow Foundation. Um, I've never used this and she has never used this. When I was talking with her, her skin is normal to oily. Mine is more normal to dry. So I thought it'd be perfect to do a foundation review just because it's going to sit different on her skin type than mine. So make sure to check hers out if you have normal to oily skin because this is definitely where normal to dry skin occurs right here mostly dry in the winter no normal no normal in the winter so if you want to see how this foundation wears during the day just keep watching wait i need my coffee hold on okay so now i've got my coffee my mom got me this super super cute mug from disney <clears throat> it sounds so raspy right now because it is morning time but that's okay i'm awake and I don't want to wake up Eric. He's in the other room. But anyway, so we're trying out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro. And I want to read some of the claims of this foundation. Basically, it says, Discover the new pro finish of long wear up to 24-hour wear with a hydrating glow. Lightweight and creamy, the long-lasting foundation goes on smooth with a glow finish that lasts. With medium coverage, it instantly hides imperfections for a clear complexion. The hydrating foundation with SPF is ideal for normal to dry skin. And that's all it says. Okay. I'm going to apply my foundation, one side with a beauty blender and one side with a brush. And this is the Morphe M439 brush, which I absolutely love for foundation. I think the sand beige is a perfect match for my skin. Okay, so we're just going to go in with sand beige. And the foundation is really liquidy. As you can see, it's just kind of falling on my palette. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with the right side of my face with my brush. So I'm going to pack it on my brush and buff it in that way. That's how I like to do my foundations sometimes. So I'm just lightly blending this in. Okay, so there's no smell, which I love that there's no smell. Yeah, I'm not smelling anything. Um, it's going on really nice. It's not streaky at all. I'm actually really liking the look of this. So I'm really liking how it's applying with the brush. I'm actually really liking this so far. Let me just take a look closer. There's no streaks from my brush. It blended in really nicely. Blended in really nicely. And yeah, I'm really liking the brush side. So let's try to go in with the beauty blender. I'm going to use the Real Techniques beauty sponge. <clears throat> I'm going to pop I'm just gonna dab some on my face, mostly around my cheek, and spread it out. And let's go in. So obviously it's definitely a lighter coverage. And I need, yeah. I need like a lot more foundation with this. Okay, so obviously it was a heck of a lot lighter. You could see a lot more redness and um, like 
any kind of skin imperfections coming through on this side and this side looks a lot more coverage so i'm going to go back in with the brush and i'm going to use a little bit more foundation and this will show us if it's a buildable foundation and on my whole face i probably used about a pump if you if it was a pump foundation so now i'm just using a little bit more i'm going to go in on this side and try to build it up so yeah it's building really nicely and i should say i didn't use any kind of primer i wanted to see how this would work without primer so that could be dangerous that could be a bad call or a good call don't know i really want to see how the foundation would work without primer because sometimes i don't want to use primer i'm actually really liking how this is sitting on my face right now i'm gonna go over it with my sponge just to kind of press it all in there i can start i can see a little bit that it's a little drying uh, right here on my forehead and it's definitely going to start creasing right here in my lines, my smile lines. But I like the amount of coverage it has. So I'm going to bring it in closer and actually really show you what it looks like. You can see that it's, you can see that it's kind of like a light to medium coverage. You can still see some redness coming through, which I like. It just makes it look more natural. And you can see around, zoom in. You can see around my nose, there's no caking really around my nose. I have dry right there, but it's not really caking too much. But you can see that it is starting to go into my smile lines already, which is typical for me. But no, I think it's sitting really nicely. And let's take a look at my forehead. It's a little dry right in here, but nothing major. So yeah, I think it's looking pretty dang good right now so it does feel tacky to the touch um and it's definitely transferring onto my hands so i want to for sure set this and i always set my foundations anyway typically i set them so this is something i would normally do i'm used to setting so i'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and i will check back in before i head out for the day okay so now that my makeup is done I finished probably like five minutes ago, but we'll just call the check-in time 8 o'clock. It's 7.52 right now, but we will just call it 8 o'clock for the sake of this video. So I kept it really simple today with my look, and everything went on really nicely. Um, I did notice that there was some creasing right here when I was doing my eye makeup, and a little bit around my fine lines, but... I don't know I'm liking it I like how it sits on my face it looks really good it hasn't kicked up around my nose at all so I'm digging this foundation right now um, I'm gonna wear it to a serving shift so I'm gonna be sweating and running around so I'm definitely gonna see how it holds up through that and then I will check back in later hey guys so I just finished my shift it is 5.23, if you can see that, 5.23, so about 5.30. So the foundation has been on for nine and a half hours, and I haven't done a check-in, so I'm going to look in the mirror right now. So let's just see. I'm just in natural lighting here, so that's what's on my face. So let's zoom in here, and you can see... Okay, so there's definitely... Creasing right here. My lips are super attached, but so there's definitely creasing right here Really bad My pores are definitely noticeable around the nose area But it's holding up pretty well. I think it's probably come off my face a little bit You can just see more of my texture coming or my um, you can just see more of my pigmentation coming through but I really like the nose. I think that around the nose area, it looks really good. It hasn't like caked up at all on my nose, so I like that. It's a little bit drying right here on my nose. And then I'm pretty oily on my forehead, which is not normal for me. I usually don't get oily, um, but I was just having a serving shift. 
you can also see there's a lot of creasing going on here so there's that as well overall I don't think it's that bad I think I look a little bit shiny and that's really surprising considering I have dry skin so I think somebody with oily skin would not be able to wear this at all um, it's pretty much stayed on my skin it just has come off a little bit because the pigmentation is coming through a little bit on my cheeks more but other than that it's really not that bad so I'm gonna wear the foundation for a couple more hours and then I'll do one more check-in and I'll let you know my thoughts about the foundation see you guys soon bye hey guys okay so it is now 11 57 so it's almost 12 o'clock so I've had this foundation on for a long time it's probably the longest I've worn a foundation but let's take a look at what it looks like okay so I'm gonna go close so you can see it's kind of worn off around my cheek definitely because the fine lines are going so that's how I can tell that the foundation has almost completely worn off you can still see a little bit of my bronzer and around my nose it's still looking fine but yeah I mean the foundation has almost completely rubbed off so this foundation has been on for 16 hours and I think it looks pretty good it's pr pretty much off my face it's like a light coverage now um, but I didn't get too shiny I it didn't settle too bad into my fine lines just over here which is completely normal and a little bit dry on my forehead but other than that I think it turned out pretty good for having it on for this long um, if I had oily skin though I would definitely not like this foundation just because I had a little bit of shine coming through and I have dry skin so keep that in mind and I didn't find that this oxidized at all I know some people have trouble with the oxidation of the L'Oreal Infallibles but I didn't have any problems the I had a perfect match and this was sand beige was my perfect match so yeah I think it went pretty good. Well, thanks guys for watching, and please be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!